Hi guys, so today I was wanting to do a video about the power of makeup. I have seen Nikki Tutorials do this, I've seen Patrick Starr do this on his channel, and I think it's such a great idea because um, I am a makeup junkie, and not everyone is, but what I like to represent is how it makes me feel when I have my full makeup face on. I don't do it every day, but you know, when I want to, I want to feel good about myself, I want to look good, I will put on my makeup. But a lot of times my friends will not really, I don't want to say comprehend, but they won't quite understand, you know, what each product does for your face. And that's why I'm here to show you what each product can do for you. You don't have to do this every day and you should not think that makeup is what makes you beautiful. Beauty comes from within. I completely agree with that. I just am thinking more along the lines of you want to feel good about yourself. It's a special occasion. How do I do this? What do I do? And why do I do it? That's what I want to answer for you today. So I'm going to be taking off my glasses. I'm going to be doing one half of my face pretty glammed up the other half I'm leaving plain and then we're going to um, see the difference at the end so I hope you uh, like this if you like these kind of videos please subscribe to my channel I really would appreciate it and we're gonna go ahead and get started right now so first off you always want to I have my mirror by the way because I've been putting on makeup so I need to be able to see what I'm doing so first off I'm gonna be putting on a primer the reason you want to put on a primer is it helps blur out imperfections it helps set your makeup and have your makeup going smoother and it prolongs your face makeup so I always start off with a primer um, there's different primers for what you want it to do there's different primers for what kind of skin type you have and so you want to um, be aware of that as well so this one's a really nice one. I'll have all the products I use today in the description box down below so that you can um, have it all right there with links to it. So once the primer is on and it has a slight blurring effect to it, next I'm gonna go in with a foundation. Today I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage. I have quite a bit of redness. I don't use this foundation a lot but occasionally I will when I find I'm having trouble skin because it's pretty heavy and it's pretty intense. But for this purpose of showing you what the difference can be, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So I'm using my Beauty Blender and I'm patting it in, trying to keep it, like I said, to one half of my face. This does look a little yellow for my skin tone, but when I start putting all the other products on I don't think it will make that big of a difference but yes it does look a little yellow to me um, I didn't really want to go buy another one of this for summer only because I don't use it that often so I figure I can make it work so right away I'm just bouncing my beauty blender I love the sponges a lot of people use brushes I have them as well um, I don't use them as often I find I don't care for the finish quite as much with uh, my dry skin but occasionally I will now make sure you always take it down your neck and across to your ear and excuse me while I go slightly out of frame because Without my glasses, I'm blinder than a bat and I can't see, so forgive me for that. Okay, I have way too much. Let me get a, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I was doing my whole face nearly. <laughs> way too much on my skin there. All right, so I'm still bouncing and blending and I think I'm doing pretty good there. You want to make sure you go up into the hairline as well so that it's not obvious all right so next I'm gonna go in and conceal right away I'm gonna use um, a benefits erase paste with a small brush 
This has a salmon color to it, so it um, cancels out a lot of darkness. And I do not do this routine every day. I am just doing it to show you the difference from one to another. So um, you might say, my goodness, that's quite a bit of makeup, and it is. But the purpose of this isn't to say, you know, this is your everyday look. The purpose of this is to show you the power of makeup, the power of what makeup could do for you if you choose to do all these steps. Now I'm doing a little bit of concealer that I put under my eye as well. Now the way with my mature aging skin, the way that you prevent a large amount of creasing, well, it's hard, let me tell you that. It's a struggle every day. But is I find is to bounce the wet, dampened beauty blender back and forth. Let the, your skin, um, the heat of your skin, help to um, loosen it up, soften it up, and then you could kind of melt it right into the skin. Now, if you have a lot of discoloration on your eyelid, you could go ahead like I just did. And then I like to mix the other side, which has the foundation, just to kind of blend these two areas together. Okay, now I got that done. Now what you will need to do is set all this. But before I do that, real quickly, I want to use... Once you do powder, you don't want to go back with the cream product. So real quick, I'm going to use my bronzing stick. And you're going to make some definition right there. And then I want to make a little bit down here on my chin as well, my jawline. So I'm going to take that. This is also called contouring. You want to do a little bit up at the forehead line. And of course down here. So that it gives you a little bit of definition if you have a double chin like I do. What it does is it creates shadows, or what looks like shadows, what's supposed to mimic a shadow. Okay, now that I'm done with my cream products, I'm gonna set everything with some powder. I need a powder brush. Now I'm going to go in with my eyebrows. Now forgive me, once again, i got to kind of lean in and be out of frame a little bit. I did do a eyebrow tutorial, so if you're really having trouble seeing it, you can always go find that on my channel as well. I think if there was one thing that you just really wanted to make sure you do on a daily in my opinion, um, besides the basics, of course, moisturizing and maybe just putting a little color on your face, evening out, to me it would be your brows. I really feel that the brows, they're getting so much attention right now in um, the markets, but um, I really do feel like brows are essential. They frame the face. They frame your eyes. So you take your brow gel, you go ahead and put it through your brows, combing them through. 
and that will hold your brows all day. Next, what I did was I took my Jaclyn Hill Becca collab and a nice brush, and I dabbed in my um, highlighters, and you make a C, backwards C shape, or C shape, whichever way you're looking at it, and you go back and forth like that. I put a little bit on my nose. Next, I grabbed a blush brush, went into the blushes, and dabbed like this, turned it around, smoothed it all out, blended, blended, got that done, and I finished off with just a little bit of setting spray to kind of meld it together. Now you're caught up. I'm so sorry, I apologize for that. So now we're gonna go into eyes. First, what I wanna do is I want to prime my eyelid. Now the reason for this is it there's all sorts of reasons. It makes your makeup go or your eyeshadow go on smoother. It prolongs the uh, the length and the time of your eyeshadow wear. It uh, helps uh, make your eyeshadow more vibrant. It um, some of them will even smooth the aging, wrinkly creasing of your eye. So there's many, many benefits to it. So there's also a whole bunch of products of them. So you just got to kind of find one that works for you. Next, I'm going to go into my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I'm going to lay down my eye brow highlight first. I'm gonna bring it down and set my eyeshadow primer so that my eyeshadows will glide on nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a brush and start with my first color. My first color is gonna be Peach Smoothie. And that's going to be a nice little transition base for me. Next, I'm going to go into a little bit darker of a color that has a little tone of pink to it. And start working my crease. Now, the trick to eyeshadow looks of looking good like what you see in magazines and so forth is all in the blending. Slowly working your colors to the darker ones and blending every time so to, to do this you get better as you learn but it does require a lot of blending and then I like to grab my other blending brush and just soften that up. Now I go a little bit darker. Every time I go darker, I keep it closer to that crease. I don't travel as much with it. I'm going to do my bottom lashes, taking that darkest color, keeping it closer and darker near the outside, and then slowly bring it in, concentrating mostly on the darker um, outside of your eye. Okay, now what I want to do is do my lid. And for that, I'm using a different product. This is Dose of Colors. It has a loose pigment on the 
bottom and on the top is a pigmented type base. So I'm going to use that and put this all over my lid. And I pretty much packed that on my whole mobile lid. Now I've grabbed this fun stuff here. And you, I might have a little fallout, but that's okay. And I'm going to press, 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 press. And this is going to stick to that cream that I put on first. Now I'm going to go back with that one shadow and just seam these two together. Okay. Now I'm going to go do my winged eyeliner and I'll be right back. Is do my eye priming lash primer. This helps uh, volumize the lashes for me, but really what it does most for me that I love is stops the flaking and the transferring. There's nothing worse than when you put on some makeup and you come home and you have raccoon eyes. Not a good look. So, um, I go ahead and use that. It's by Lancome. Like I said, the description will be in the description bar. Do top lashes with one kind and bottom lashes with another just because this is a really great bottom lash brush. I want to do just a little bit more now that I'm really close to my mirror on my bottom lash line. And then what I like to do is put just a little bit of a highlight in the tear duct inner corner. That really brightens up your eye a lot. So now I have that done. Now all I need to do is my lips and I'll be right back. Well, so there you go. There you have it, the power of makeup. This side of my face is, has nothing. It's completely bare. Um, you can see it's shiny. Um, very discolored, obviously, in areas. On my chin, my nose. And this side, where the line's down it, more even. Um, Accenting the eye, the eyebrows look good. Um, just the whole thing. I have more of a cheek here. The jaw line's a little bit more defined. And there you go. This is my version of Power of Makeup.
Mature Edition. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.